the position. Lewis Phillips dropped a very similar chance at a pick in the next play. Montana beat him with a touchdown pass to Taylor. And now they go deep down the field. And it is intercepted on the rebound by Bell. On Bell. Oh, he is clobbered. Clotheslined at the 45. But they take over the Bengals with the third straight game in the playoffs where they come up with a crucial pick. They're not the end. underdogs anymore. Bell, this season, wow, unbelievable. He's only been targeted twice in pass coverage in the playoffs. You can see why right there. Look at Jesse Bates reach in with I mean, Hill. That's the play. It's perfect technique. Bates actually makes the play. Bell comes down with it. But Bates, wow, perfectly timed, no P.I. Maybe sending the Bengals now. Wow, McPherson. <laughs> He's going to have something coming here. Yeah, you need at this point, you probably need just inside of 20 yards. And that's live in Cincinnati. Bates deflected it. Bell, there's two safeties teaming up. Hill blanked since halftime, not a catch. First down throw. And that's Higgins. And there's Mixon to make sure he's right there around that football if it were to come out. Gain of nine. I love the aggressiveness by Cincinnati. If I was Kansas City, I'd have liked to have seen a run right there, right? You're like, don't throw it on every down. And there's the kid. He wouldn't say it again, would he? A Walking out there, would he do that? He said it going before last, at the end of last week's game, he walked out and he goes, I can't believe we're going to the AFC Championship yeah. game. He hadn't kicked this field goal yet. He said it to Brandon Allen, the holder. We're going, hey, can't believe we're going to the AFC Championship. Well, and he made it from 52. Second and one. Mixon. That's outside. They slashes inside. And they've got a new set of downs at the 42. Higgins threw a nice block. That looked like it could be stopped for a loss. Instead, good for four. If I'm Zach Taylor, I'm telling offensive coordinator Brian Callahan, stay aggressive on first down. There's a tendency right here to get a little safe, hand it off, and have to kick a nice 57, 60 yards, and 52, you know, get in there, get another first down before you start to play. Yeah, down. it's 60 from here. First down. Every yard is big. There's two more. He beat him once this year at the end of regulation. That was a chip shot from 20. find out if they decide to risk it. This is where you get really aggressive. Spagnola here. I think he's coming after him. You have a chance to throw a slant to chase quickly and hit a home run. Get the ball in his hands fast. Second and eight. Looking down the middle and is pulled down. Great grab it was by Higgins. With all that attention over to Chase, Higgins has had a big game. He's just gone over 100 yards. And we said it. He's the key. I love that he made the decision. The slant, instead of going to Chase, his side, he goes to Higgins, which I think once they started doing that in this game, came right back to it. Eight yards and a first. Six catches, 103. And definitely now in McPherson range. Stay safe here. First down. I would actually be safe at this point. Hand it off, see if you can get four or five yards on this one. It's mixing. That's what they do. In fact, they get seven. It's exactly starting to feel it. This, well, they don't want to be called underdogs, but this team that had just four wins a year ago. They're not underdogs. They're, they're in the driver's seat. I mean, Maybe the Bills were last week, too, but this is the Bengals. No one. I'm, I'm telling you, this is crazy. A few weeks back, we're about to say the Bengals might be going to the Super Bowl, and they just went and beat the number one team on the road and the number two team on the road. They beat the number one seed, now trying to beat the two seed in second and three. Nixon charging inside the 20. He's down to the 12. Oh my goodness, the Bengals are going to the Super Bowl, Jim. They came in to Arrowhead. What a run there. He's got a great burst. And really, I thought he had a chance to score there at the end.
As they'll tell you in Cincinnati around that locker room, Mixon is the energy and emotion and heartbeat of our team in so many fourth quarter situations. But in overtime, ripping off some big runs here. Timeout. Timeout called by Kansas City. Well, this this is where a ball security, but just down it. Ooh, and the lead. This is genius. I think he's going to challenge. 30 second timeout. Andy Reid might challenge, but I don't know if he can. In illegal formation, he can't do that. Well, challenges Gene's territory have to upstairs. come upstairs. Yeah. Most definitely, Jim, He's asking, yes. though. I could tell. All challenges upstairs, guys, and illegal formation is not a reviewable play. Yeah, exactly right. So he can have the conversation, but New York can't get involved, nor the replay official. Yeah, Would you he, just go ahead and kick it now, Tony? It'd be a 30-31 yarder. Well, the, the only thing is you might want to move it to the center. Okay. So if you look, too many guys on the line, right? So that's nine guys. <laughs> How many you got? Four, five, six, seven, eight guys on the line? Yeah, can't do that. You can only have seven, so. I'd take the back. You, you can have eight guys on the line. They just got to be legal there, and someone's covered someone up. Jay Feely, if you were in this position, is a hash mark you'd prefer? No, I think from here, I mean, he's having a conversation with his special teams coach, Darren Simmons, right now, and just asking him where he wants it. But from this perspective, there's not a lot of wind. The field conditions are great. It's not going to matter. Yeah. Hey, Gene, clarify the eight guys on the line of scrimmage. They're just going to down this. Or they end it off. It's a risk here, Jim. First and ten. Right up the middle and holding with two hands, cradling it down to the 10. That's now 28 yard attempt from there. Hmm. You're right, Jim. I mean, I'm I'm almost to the point of kicking it right now. I mean, if it doesn't matter what hash, I mean, all you're doing is the possibility of something fluky, right? Mm -hmm. And you're five yards shorter than the next for point right now. The other part is you want downs in case the snap. You got to save at least one down. You don't run it three times to kick it on fourth so what happens all of a sudden you know somebody jumps you get a false start ball gets snapped i mean anything there's a million yeah. things the ball could slip i mean i've seen guys in the playoffs drop a snap before in a big situation barely got that away in time the snap but it steps back three yards and downs it between the hashes and now they'll bring out mcpherson now let's just see if he happens to say anything here as confident as last week you missed my joke. I said I've seen guys drop a snap in the playoffs before oh, in key situations. Yeah. That's I, why I thought you kick it. I thought you were about from the line of scrimmage <laughs> on a regular play. I know you're talking special. Yeah, teams. no, I wasn't okay. talking special. This is why you kick it on third down, though, because if it is a drop, you all right, do it again. Here we go. This could be a sentence that a month ago would sound incomprehensible. From 31 yards, McPherson and Cincinnati is heading. To the Super Bowl. He called it again, I'm sure. He walked up and he goes, Can you believe, coach? We're going to the Super Bowl. And they did it. They beat Mahomes at home. Wow, Joe Burrow. No way. Only two quarterbacks have won an FBS national title game and a Super Bowl. And that's Joe Namath and Joe Montana. And Joe Burrow's trying to be the third. From 18 down, matching. The biggest comeback victory in championship game history, AFC or NFC. This was just dead center. Shooter McPherson, fearless. And Cincinnati takes the AFC. Shooter. Perfect on the road, regular in post. 22 of 22 on the season, four for four today. And midway through the second quarter, you never would have imagined it. That play at the end of the second quarter, it's the one he'll think about all offseason. Well, they for, failed to score touchdowns at the end of each half. Yeah, exactly. Inside, right. But they inside had the points. Five. They had points at the end of that second. Look at Brian Kelly and the coaching staff. You're not underdogs anymore, Cincinnati. You've arrived and you're here in a different game plan as they took, did a good job on Chase today. Keeping him in check a little bit. 
Two years ago, the Bengals had the worst record in the NFL. They won two games. They've now won three games in January alone. And they're heading to Super Bowl 56. And Tony, you've seen it all. Mm. Did you ever have a hint that this team, down 21 to 3 on the road, could pull this off today? They did it before, but I didn't think they could do it at Arrowhead. I mean, things had to go the way, but they had to play great. Oh, what a job. I mean, enjoyed it this year, bud. Unbelievable. How about, how about these playoff games? Let's send it to Tracy before these playoff games. Tracy, oh. it's all yours. Well, he's still saying congratulations, as he should be celebrating this moment. to come in to Arrowhead, down 18, find a way to claw back, and now head to the Super Bowl. What does it say about this team? I mean, our defense was unbelievable in the second half. They had a great plan on the defensive side against us. You know, we, we struggled a little bit. I love you, everybody. Great job, Lou! Speaking of defense. Oh, that's the guy right there. He had a great plan in the second half. Unbelievable. I mean, I'm just a little speechless right now. I don't even know what to say. I'm sure you are. I could only imagine what was going through your head when you lost the coin flip in overtime to Patrick Mahomes. Yeah, I mean, usually when you lose a coin flip to those guys, you're going home. But, you know, our defense really stepped up and made plays in the second half. And on offense, we made plays when we had to. You know, our, I thought the offensive line played really well all day. You know, we started running the ball there at the end. That's exciting. Big win for us. On to the Super Bowl. How does it sound? Sounds great. It sounds great. Go oh, enjoy this. Well, Tony, we've had some Joes at quarterback go on to become Super Bowl MVPs. Most recently, Joe Flacco, Joe Montana, mm -hmm. Joe Namath, mm -hmm. and now Joe Burrow. And the Cincinnati Bengals will represent the American Football Conference in Los Angeles in two weeks' time. Well, and the reason with the number one pick, they took franchise Joe. And right there... Joe Franchise has taken him. He's turned this thing around. Wow, what a huge one in getting Chase. This program. Just amazing. It is more than amazing. It's improbable, yeah. but they've done it. Incomprehensible is the word that came to mind for me. Mm. Yep, they came back to beat Kansas City twice in a month. First time they were down 14 on January 2nd. Today, 18. No matter. They win it. They represent the AFC in two weeks. We got the presentation of the Lamar Trophy coming up on the State Farm Post Game Show. Thank you for watching the AFC Championship presented by Intuit Turbo Tax Live. James Brown is coming up. Tony, loved every minute of it, my man. Me too, big guy. Have fun at Pebble.